Next is the in operator. We use the in operator to specify multiple values in a where clause. Make our comment, call this the in operator. Now within our customer table, let's say we want to retrieve information about customers from, let's say from Canada. We know how to do this by simply writing the select statement. So select all from customers and we have where cost, where, sorry, where country equals and would we'll say Canada. And when we run this, it retrieves the our customers that are located in Canada. What if we want to print out records of customers from multiple country? So instead of just having Canada, we want to see Canada and Japan. How do we write that query? Well, it's quite easy. All we need to do is to use the in operator and this is how that looks. Write out the code, the query first. And then we have where country. Now, instead of using equals, we then say in. And what we'll do next is to open our bracket. And then we can impute all of the countries that we want to display the, the you know, the records from. So we'll say in Canada. And now we can say in Japan. And we'll just do this, print out those two countries for now. And then we can close our, our bracket. So what this is saying is select all the information, select all the records from our customers table. But we only want to restrict those records to countries in Canada and Japan. So the in operator now allows us to specify more than just one country. Let's run this. So now, and we can order our results as well. Let's say we want to order by, and we can order by country. Okay, so now we have Canada and Japan. We have all our records, all our customers' records from those two countries. We can, uh, let's say we want to add, let me just type it out. Add more records. So let's say select. Um, let's say we just want the customer name. We want the other amount, and we want the. Let's say we want the. What do we want? Let's say we want the. Okay, country. Let's let's go with city. So select customer name, other amount, city from customers, and now we can say where city in, and where do we want? Let's say we want we want Osh. We want. Let's say we want let's say we want Tokyo. And we want Berlin. And let's say we want London as well. So using the in operator just gives us more room to expand the criteria or expand our result set rather than just being stick to just one. When we use the where clause with the in operator, we're able to then add up more, you know, just, just give us a more option as to what result sets we want to be printed out. When we run this now and let's order by order by total by other amounts and let's do descending so when we run this now we have 
Osh, we have Nolan Flips from, from Osh, we have Sean Marvel from London, and Paulina Mascot from Berlin. So that's how we use the in operator. Um, what if we want to find out the total amount spent in specific countries and we can, um, let's say Zimbabwe, the United States and, and Netherlands. So we want to find out what's the total amount spent within this country. So let's see if I inside of get total amount spent in Zimbabwe and let's say let's say Germany and Netherlands. Yes, right. Okay, so what we'll do is because we want to find the total amount, so we'll be using the sum function. So go select. We want the sum of other amounts. We want to see the country. Okay, and then I would use an alias shortly from customers. Now we want to have the countries. So where country we use our in operator in then we have our countries we have Zimbabwe we have Germany and then we have Netherlands And next we have to group our result. We group by country. And we can order by, let's order by country as well. Okay. Now let's use an alias as, let's use an alias call that total amount let's say to total amount spent so all we're trying to do is we want to sum the total amount spent by countries and we just we only need for three countries Zimbabwe, Germany and Netherlands and to do that, we have to group, because by grouping, then we can perform the aggregate function on those countries. And when we run this, so it tells us that in Germany, the, the total amount is 11,980. The Netherlands, the total is 900. And then for Zimbabwe is 4,450. And we can also add the total number of transactions. So by doing the count, so let's just copy this and I'll paste this. And now what we can do is, so I'm just going to bring this down. So country. So let's do the count and we can just do the count of all and we'll call this total transactions. It's not really, I'll put an underscore here as well. All right, so now we know that in Germany, there's a total of H transactions that makes up this amount. In Netherlands, just one transaction, and in Zimbabwe, we have three transactions.